Hello and welcome back to Cracking the Cryptic and uh, I've got a great story coming up around this puzzle in a moment. Um, first, what I will mention is that um, merchandise, our merch is available on the store tab and uh, there are, I think we're down to the last day to ensure it gets there in time for Christmas. You might still have a hope afterwards, but definitely it's okay if you order it today. Um, now, on the Patreon channel, as well as the Modern Art Sudoku Pack, as well as the Tracking the Cryptid Sudoku Hunt, um, I have also posted my monthly Battle with the Times monthly crossword special today, and it's a beast as ever. Um, worth watching if you like the crossword stuff, or if you just want to marvel at some insane vocabulary. Um, now, that's on Patreon. Uh, Obviously, there's also the Indian Sudoku Championship today. It might be too late by the time I post this. Yes, they're days earlier, sorry. So I don't know if one can uh, log in and have a go at the test later, but worth doing. That'll be an interesting pack of puzzles for absolute sure as soon as it's available to everybody. Um, do have a look, uh, probably through Logic Masters India, I think. Now, this puzzle came to us with an email. Dear Simon and Mark, my name is Caleb Siegel. Here is my first ever variant Sudoku. It's a sandwich Sudoku and the middle box is a magic square. No twists. Hope you enjoy it. Here it comes. P.S. I'm eight years old. Sincerely, Caleb. Caleb is eight. Now, that might or might not make him our youngest regular viewer. I think it definitely makes him our youngest ever contributor of a puzzle. Um, if then there was a note under this uh, saying this is Caleb's dad Danny I just want to say that he really did make this puzzle by himself his only coaches are the two of you in fact when he talks about Sudoku he speaks with an English accent we live in Alabama and he uses words like disambiguate <laughs> Caleb loves cracking the cryptic thanks for your great channel well thank you Danny and thank you Caleb I literally you know, dear dear viewer, what were you doing when you were eight? And if it was making Sudoku puzzles, um, I'm very impressed. Uh, they didn't exist when I was eight, I don't think. So uh, I might just have been beginning to look at my dad's book of cross number puzzles. I probably wasn't there at that age. I'm just mind blown by this. Um, now, this puzzle... Caleb's puzzle went to our testers. Um, they felt, uh, probably in the spirit of Christmas, he was being a little generous. So they've taken out some of his givens. Um, he's approved this version. And uh, this is still Caleb's puzzle. Uh, it's a sandwich Sudoku. So the numbers outside the grid show the um, sum of the digits between the one and the nine in that row or column. So for instance, in this row, Wherever the 1 and the 9 appear, between them are digits adding up to 15. When it says 0, that means the 1 and the 9 must come together with no digits between them at all. The central box is a magic square, so each row and column will add up to the same number and diagonal. They'll all add up to the same number. Uh, because it uses the numbers 1 to 9, that number will be 15, I can tell you. Um, and normal Sudoku rules apply. Do have a go at this puzzle um, on the link below the video. And I'm going to have a go now at a puzzle by Caleb Siegel. And congratulations to him. So let's get cracking. Um, well, the magic square. We can always start by putting five in the middle of a magic square. Because over time we have learnt that they have a five in the middle. And they have odd numbers orthogonally touching the five. So, ah, in the central column, we've got a five clue. Does that mean, obviously, one and nine could go around the five? They add up to 15. That would be a valid uh, column for the magic square. But three, seven, five would also be a column. And remember, five doesn't have to be made up in Sandwich Sudoku by a single five. It can be two cells. Oh, but those two cells have to be three and two. And if if this was a three seven pair, you can't get a nine surrounding three and two. Oh, that's really neat. So this must be the one nine pair. 
Therefore, these are the three seven pair. Now, that is giving us some of the ones and nines. Right, in these rows, we have sandwich totals of 15 and 14. So, we know where 1 and 9 are in the central box, but I'm going to mark green cells where there cannot be um, a 1 and a 9 outside. Uh, we might as well do all of these because we've done the 1 and the 9 in the central column effectively. Now, um, okay, I don't actually know where to go. So I'm going to look somewhere else now. Um, we've got a 35 clue. Ah, okay, well, 35 is a great number in a sandwich Sudoku because the numbers 2 to 8 add up to 35. So that means the 1 and the 9 are on the outside of them. So the 1 must be here. In the 32 row, there's got to be outies, as it were, outside the 1 and 9 of 3. Because of those numbers 2 to 8 adding up to 35, only 3 is outside. That has to be a single 3. It can't be a 1 and a 2 because the 1's in the sum. So we've got a whole bunch of green cells now. No problem with those. We've got a zero clue in the top row. OK, this is quite generous as it goes. So another bunch of green cells to mark. Um, a nine clue in column two. Mm, that could be two, three and four, putting a one here. But those are now green. Where do 1 and 9 go elsewhere? Oh, look, they're either a pair there or a pair there for those zeros, and there or there. That could be a 1 and 9. We could have a... Oh, we've got three... OK, that's nice. Yes, look. Look at the three white cells in column 4 here. Now, there's a zero clue here. And yet, at least one of these cells must be a 1 or a 9, because you can only get one of them in there, maximum. So if one of those is a 1 or a 9, and the 1 and the 9 have to be next to each other in the row, they have to be there. So we can mark that green. Now we know... Ah, we know that both the 15 and the 14 are either two or three cells along here. Those are green. I suppose those two could both be 1 and 9. Um, let's just mark in... I know that's a 1 now. That's a 9. Ah, oh, we've got a 12 clue in column 3. So that's going to need at least two cells of sum inside it. So this is the one at the bottom. We've got a 9 clue here. That means we can mark all of these green. The 4, obviously, can be green because it was a given digit that's not a 1 or a 9. So we can put the 9 in here now. We've got a zero clue here, so we can do the one. This must be one and nine. We've got a bunch more greens. Uh, a zero clue in this row as well, so we can put a nine in there. Keep coloring green there. Now, a 21 clue could be three or four cells. Ah, but this 10 clue can't be four cells. Because although 1, 2, 3, 4 can add up to 10, we can't use the 1 in the sum. So, that one is 1 or 9. Now, that can't be 3 cells. Again, for the same reason, we can't use the 1 in the sum, because it's in the crusts of the sandwich. So that's green. That's 1 or 9. This is green. That's green. That now must be 9. 1 here. 9 here, 1 here, 9 here, and that is all the one... Oops, that's all the 1s and 9s in the puzzle. So there we go. Um, now we just need to solve it as a sandwich Sudoku. Let's not forget the magic square. That might be helpful. Oh, hang on. Didn't quite do all the 1s and 9s because I forgot the ones in the central box. The magic square. Ah, oh, right. Now, 14 clue here. So that's 6 and 8. Um, 6, 7, 2 is a possible 15 total. But then so is 8, 3, 4. 
think that's all it can be because 636 and 870 aren't possible. Ah, oh, this has to... Oh, hang on, something's gone wrong here. If this adds up to 15 and it's got a 1 and a 6 or 8 in it, doesn't the other one have to be 6 or 8 too to make 15? What have I done wrong here? 14 had to be two cells. Taking all the magic... Oh, no, I mean, 3, 7 is definitely right for the magic square. Surely 14 has to be two cells. But that's going to mess up this 15 total. Have I got my 1s and 9s all totally the wrong way around? No, that 9 fixed those. One nine. What have I done wrong here? This is really strange. That must be 8 and 7 to make 15. This is a 9 total. That's 2, 3 and 4. I'm going to try and come at this backwards and see if we can get through. Um, surely 14 always has to be 8 and 6. I haven't forgotten enough about Sandwich Sudoku. And I mean, those two have to add to 14 if that's a 1. That must be right. 32, that was right. Ah, well this 22 column isn't working, that's for absolutely sure. Oh my goodness, okay, well I do apologise. Let's try going backwards some way here and seeing where I got these final columns wrong. So, let's assume I'm okay up to here. That's green. That's got to be right. Um, there's a zero clue. That has to be a nine. Now, 21 is either of those, but 22 has to be one of those two as a nine. So those are green. What on earth did I do wrong here? Now, I, oh yes, I worked on this 10 with a one or a nine there. Ah! And I said it couldn't be four clue, four cells. Yeah, that's all right. The one has to be here. Still think that's right. Let's color those green. That's green. This is a 15 clue. Oh, I don't know what I did. Yes, the 10, I put the one in here which was ludicrous. I said the 10 couldn't be four clues, then treated it as if it was. I do apologize, Caleb, for butchering your puzzle. This is better. This is better. Um, there's nothing that difficult about this. I've just had a bit of a howler. So, 15, it could actually be four cells. Right, 22, that's green, because that can't just be two cells. Okay, so this is now a one or nine. There's an eight clue, so... Oh, well, I don't know the answer. Okay, now I can work on the thing. No, I can't. I still don't know if one and nine are here. Oh, dear. Okay, let's just recompose ourselves. Try again. Right. This 21 clue has to have 21 in there, plus 10 is 31, plus the 4 is 35. These two add up to 10. That's not as helpful as I wanted. I did spot that this 9 is a 2, 3, 4. Triple, that's still right. Could that be a 9? The outies in the 22 column would add up to 13. That would be an 8. Yes. Could that be a 9? then this would be 8, 7, but that's fine. Oh, uh, no, I was going to work on that. I'd worked out that can't be. That's not true. Wow, okay, this is... I'm just not thinking straight here. Um, okay, what can we work on? Done the 32. We've done all the noughts. That is either 2, 8, or 6, 4, because it can't be 7, 3. 
this 21. So we've got 10 in those two, but they could be, well, they could be 7, 3 or 2, 8 either way. Um, 22. So we've got 13 either in two cells making that an 8, or these two add up to 8, in which case they would be 2, 6. So that is 2, 6 or 8. Can that be an 8? Yes. Could this be 2, 6? With a 9 here. 2, 3, 4, 5. Oh my goodness, okay, because this is 2, 3 or 4 from the 9 clue, the only way for 15 to be 4 digits would be if it was 2, 3, 4, 5, which add to 14. They'd all be there and that would make filling this cell impossible. That's a lovely bit of logic. Right, so the 4, four cells is impossible, that one is green, that's going to make that one green and we can fill in the nines and ones properly this time. Nine there, one there, nine there. Now that gives us a one at the bottom of the magic square. Oh, well, and, and the nine's not even there. So all the reasons why 14 was difficult here have gone away. Now we need to find a different breakthrough. Ah, well, we've got an eight here for this eight clue and only one cell. We've got an eight here because that now has to add to 13 in two cells. Those eights give us a Sudoku eight here. That gives us a two here in the sandwich. Three by Sudoku can't be in those cells, so it's here. This is a four, six, seven triple. Two, five down there. Six, seven down there. Oops, two, four, three here. The middle one can't be a three. Five, six, seven here. Ah, the middle one has to be a six because there's a five there and a three, seven pair around it. Right, now can we use these 14 or 15 totals? They're still a bit tricky. Ah, oh, but this has to be even. Both of those have to be even because of the magic square properties. These are odd. So this one is going to be odd. No, even and odd is odd. That one's going to be even. Even and odd. This one's going to be odd. So that is the three. Ten. So this is either a four or a six. Now that means using the diagonal and the magic square, this one is either a two or an eight over here. No, it's not. It's either a four or a six. Do the maths, Mark. So that's a four, six pair because four, five, six adds to 15. So this is the two, eight pair. Now, can this be a two? No, that would be a four. This would have to be a nine. Can it be a five? That would be a seven. And why have I written five? This is, was this was a two eight pair and I've just worked out it can't be two. So it is eight. I'm sorry, this is not me showing myself at my best. Right, two there. So this has to be seven six. I think the magic square all works now. Very nice. Now for this to be, oh, for this to be 14, that's a seven. Five there, two here, four there, two here. That's not two. Ah, oh, yeah, where does two go in this column? Well, it, there's definitely a two in one of those cells, so it can't be there. Those are prevented by that. It can't be here because of this 12 total. So 2 goes down here. This 12 total is actually either 8, 4 or 5, 7. And given that 4 and 7, it's in one of those orders. That's 3 or 4 because it can't be a 7. So we can actually place 7. And that means this is a 4, 8 pair. 5 and 6 here. 5, 3, 6 up here. 3... Five, three, five, six. So that's not a three. So the three in the two, three, four is there. This is now an eight. That's the last digit we need. Uh, so I can use this 15 total, presumably now. We've already got three. We need another 12. It has to be seven, five now. 
four, two. And now it is coming together. And very nicely too. This is not four, six, so it's a two, eight pair, which we can do like that. Six and seven, six, three and four, seven there. Four, five, and six to go in on the bottom row. I cannot see how to do those. How about that nine pair? Can't be five, four. Can't be seven, two, because neither of those digits can go in this cell. So that's three, six. Then we've got a five here. It's a naked single. Two and five, eight goes in there. A five, six pair here. Three here. And the rest is Fairly straightforward to disambiguate, of course. Four, five, six there, just a three, four to go like that. So I believe that is the answer to the uh, sandwich Sudoku magic square puzzle from Caleb Siegel. And I mean, hats off to him. Do, do post what you think about that, but please, <laughs> please don't post anything that flames an eight-year-old because that would be harsh. And um, that's a really good puzzle. I mean, flame me because I messed it up uh, around this bit. Um, and thanks very much for watching. Congratulations to Caleb. Brilliant to be able to feature this puzzle. And hope to see you all again soon on Cracking the Cryptic. Bye for now.